Last time on this old outboard. Fish. All right, so it's official. We'll call it. We'll call it 26. And uh, get ready for the showdown, baby, with the 55. Big boat on a little trailer. All right, so I've almost got this thing as close to where I can get it as I can get it for that freaking StarCraft. All right, so I had 10 foot piece of PVC pipe, and after looking everything over, these are two foot, two foot, and I took the last two foot, cut it in half, and got these pieces. Now the boat is six feet wide beam, and I'm looking at six feet four inches, man. It'll work. Plus, I can see this from my back window through the van. Over here, I've got this carpet that I thought I was going to use. Brand new shaggy waggy baby. Look. Man, it's stiff as a board in this cold weather. So, I don't know. You know, I took the torch and tried to heat it up a little bit. Got a little, you know, seam like going here. Man, I don't want to spend all day heating this thing up. Well, you know what? It really wasn't that bad. First, I don't know if you can see, there's a line right here. I bent this in first. Heated it up and stepped on it. Then did, folded it again. Heated that up. And scratched it down. So now this board should fit right like that. Yeah. That ain't bad. Oh, it's perfect. Kind of soaking into the wood a little bit. So a little thicker. I got my mini sledge. And this two by four. First rodeo, baby. Putting it on this thick, I will let this tack up a little bit. It's a chore. It's a chore. I need a drink. Whew. All right, so I just went around and reinforced it. More staples. Did the ends. And then with most carpet, I like to take the torch and just go along and singe the edge of the vinyl in here, melt that if you can without burning up the carpet too bad, and that stops it from running. It 
bone, baby. Well, there's the first one. And before I do the other one, I mark everything off first. <laughs> That's why I say every time you do the first one, the next one's a piece of cake. All right, this is the second one, like I said. It goes real fast. Yeah, now she's starting to look like a boat trailer. And I'm still thinking about covering these with the blue carpet where I got these pieces of foam I can stick on there with some zip ties. I got big pieces too. I can cut it to go all the way around. So I don't know about that yet. All right, so the trailer's looking pretty good. I've just got a few, few odds and ends to do, like this one here looks a little high to me. Now, if I move it up, it'll be fine because that's where the the hull starts to curve upwards there. And but I'm gonna go ahead and lower it because keep everything as straight as I can. And uh, these guides. Not 100% sure what I want to do. I never glued this yet. So, I don't know if I should put carpet on here or just let it ride. I, you know, I don't want to scratch the damn boat up. But you know what I'm talking about. So, I got to make up my mind on that and get this thing out of the water today. Here's my thought. This is heavy duty stuff. I mean heavy duty. And I got a ton of it. So I'm thinking I'm going to wrap this one like this, do the other side. And that should, you know, be a pretty good buffer. You know, the boat comes rolling in and wants to hit this stuff. This should deflect it. All right, heading over to the ramp. Just check my, my lights and everything's working. Go leave the van over there, walk back, drive the boat back, and try to get it loaded up. All right, nice day too. Thank God the wind ain't howling. And uh, this is this part that sucks. If I could just cut across and jump the fence, I'll... right there's where park the boats. Looks like a spot. That might be the way to go. I really don't want anybody seeing me, so I'm going to sneak over here behind Captain Mark's house. Boy, that was nothing. Hee hee hee. Man, that, that took like five minutes. <laughs> uh, I was dreading that long walk around the fence, but the old jumper Rooney. All right, baby. Here we go. All right, I'll see you over there. Man, that was too easy. I'm not even touching anything yet. I'm still floating above the trailer. It's lined up. Looks pretty good. Get the hell out of here. Wow. Wow. Man, look at the mess from being in the water. Oh, that's, that's the problem. See, I'm on that damn rail, which I was trying to avoid. So that's going to have to be... Oh, I'm not even touching on this side. My rollers are too high. I think it'll be fine. Maybe get a strap on it and get it back to the house. So, coming through over this brick road, she slid down off the railing. And that's right where I measured, it was right here, 17 inches. I'm not even hitting that roller, because right there I measured 20. And the other, the other bunk board, way off. That's because this thing likes to lean to that side, because that's where the battery and the console and everything is. All right, let me get it strapped down, get it home, and get all that adjusted and washed and well wow, my my things just made it I was worried about the height that's perfect these guys didn't even come close I can even you know put more on here the the, pla the foam and should be good and they worked great for the uh, backing up I could see that the short ones 
just barely but these really stood out and really worked the way they were supposed to and look I said I was gonna be hanging off I'm not <laughs> that that's fantastic because the way this thing curves upward uh, you know fantastic so it looks good worked out good just a little bit of a little bit of tweaking baby all right let me get a strap and get the hell out of here yeah baby that was a chore <laughs> look at my van up oh caddy wampus trying to get as close to the edge over here as possible but it's looking good all right so tomorrow i'll get on that damn trailer yeah get all this stuff squared away get her where she fits like she supposed to and should be good to go you know the channel don't forget to subscribe